Alrighty, everybody, how are we doing? Do we have all the pages? Just nod. Okay, nod. Okay, thank you. Good. Okay. All right. So, so now we have all the pages, and we're going to make this a uniform website so that this group's website looks like this group's, looks like this group's, it's because we're all trying to learn from each other, and we want to make sure that the areas of uh, that are important are easy to identify for each group. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a navigation bar with tabs. So to do that, we're going to click on the gear at the top right. It says more actions. And we want to click on edit site layout. Edit site layout. You're going to notice at the top two items are already highlighted click on sidebar so it's not highlighted and then click on horizontal navigation this is where it gets a little tricky and i want to make sure everybody's at the right step here my point people do we have header highlighted and do we have horizontal navigation highlighted good okay what we're going to do now is click on home. Click on the home tab right here. And now we're going to add the pages to our horizontal navigation bar. And you do that by simply clicking on add page. And then now we can do it in order of our site. So the first page is going to have to be summary. You can follow along the board there. I have all the different First one's going to be summary and then OK. Add page. Next one's going to be analysis and then OK. After analysis, we have opinion. After opinion, we have literary devices. After literary devices, mythology. And then modernization. And then click OK. Now, before we leave this, I'd like you to click on under style, click tabs. I'm not going to go any farther until I get nods from people that they're my point people. Are we good with this? OK. We're going to click tabs under style, and then you can click OK. You good over here? Everybody else can click close once you're ready. Click close once you're done. Put those. So now what you have is your website. You have the car has been has been manufactured. We have the the car has been assembled here. Okay, you have your home site. Click on summary. You'll have your summary site, your analysis site. I should say page. These are all pages. Opinion page, and so on and so forth. Everybody in the group now can get into the website and can edit their particular pages. So the owner is going to be responsible for one more thing, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. 
Um, but all of you should now be able to get in here and make changes to what you need to do. So having manufactured the outside of the car, let's look at what you can do with the inside of the car. Let's look at our leather interior and our uh, coffee cup holders and our, our AM radio setup. Some of us listen to AM radio, yes. Um, so this is where everybody should be playing around with this and seeing how this works. If I want to edit any of these pages, and you want to edit any of these pages, you're going to click on the pencil symbol right at the top that says Edit Page. And you're going to notice that my, I have one column here. Okay, click Close. You know what? It's I feel like I'm going too fast because I'm having this recorded, and usually I will take it much slower, especially for a group of novices. So that's why I say don't hesitate to ask me questions because if you miss one little thing, it throws everything else off. The, the, the good part about this is once you get this set up, you don't worry about it again. All right, It's just a matter of adding things on. So anyway, I clicked on the pencil, and notice I have one column here. Has anybody ever seen an old website? What do you notice about old websites? I'm talking from the 90s, from 20 years ago, back when I was a young man. What what do you notice about those websites? Yeah, they're around, John. They're around. I'm seeing them. But you you've obviously seen a couple. What do they what do they generally look like? How are they boring? Okay, black and white, maybe the, the uh, icons are a little too large. What else? Did we work on trail? Okay. How about the text? If you look at the text, it's, it tends to go from one end of the monitor all the way to the other. And you got I don't know if you could read something like that, but my eyes get very tired reading something like that. Okay. So one of the reasons why I bring that up is because you have one column over here, and you have to think about your audience especially with a website. You want to be able to not anger your audience. Don't annoy them. If they get on here and they have too much reading to do and it's way too long, you're not going to keep them much longer in terms of their attention. So what you can do is you can change the layout of the page. So I'm going to click layout at the top and you could do two columns, three columns. I tend to stick with two columns. It's up for you guys as a group to decide what you want to do or you as the individual, what you want to do for your website. But I tend to like, like it the way it is here. And then you could type in your area just like you would type in a Word document. So my, the title of my website is Space Exploration. So I can, I'm just going to say uh, Space Exploration is becoming very popular around the world. In fact, India is developing a awesome space program. Okay, so I just wrote that and again, whoop, I forgot to, um, I might wanna change the font size of this so I can make it a little larger highlight it and just like you would do with a Google document maybe make it size 16 okay I could change the the color of the letters be careful of this again you don't want to really annoy your your audience so if they see something that's like difficult to read they may not be reading it and then you can click Save um, every time you add something. So remember, every time you're adding, click save just in case there's a, you lose Wi-Fi connection or, or some, something that happens. Yes. Okay. Um, you go to the top where it says, well, first you click on the pencil. 